Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first weekly group by news of 2021. Welcome, everyone. Let's see. Alan, Duncan, Yo-Yo, Burp, Shadow Claw, Barugi, Iowa, Neffert. Let's see who else. Buddy557. Five, five, Thank you guys for joining in. Let's see. I am starting a little bit later than usual because it took me a while just to get home. Encountered a little bit of traffic, but nonetheless, we still made it. We still made it. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Let's see. What is Merlin drinking tonight? You guys can find out every time you execute the exclamation point drink command. Look, it's Phoenix has subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Let me show you guys what I'm drinking really quick. I think this might be one of the few streams, few Sunday streams that I do, in which I'm actually drinking alcohol. So here we go. This is it. Um, as some of you know, my sister-in-law came to visit for Christmas and she likes beer so she bought a bunch of beer and she didn't drink too much of it <laughs> so this is actually one of the ones that she left with us this one's called shake side stout no idea if this will be good apparently it's a hybrid milk stout um don't really know what that means but i guess we'll find out tonight we'll find out See, Bebex Baby says, hi, Mr. Merlin, and I bought the ginger beer you like. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Awesome. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. You know, I'm not not so much of a stout drinker, but I figure if I don't... How strong? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. 5% alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really drink stout, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, if I, if I don't drink it, it's just going to sit in my fridge until she comes back. <laughs> Easy clap. Let's see, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see if I like it. I'm more of like a cider drinker. Cider, wine, and port, you know. Ooh. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Let's see, Homie Zone says, when is the Merlin... Mai Tai? I think that's what you mean, the Mai Tai stream? Mai Tai is actually one of, one of my favorite drinks. I guess I'll I'll have to see when I make one. <laughs> hmm, that's mainly just the foam I'm tasting. You can tell I'm not a beer drinker from that pour, obviously. <laughs> Alright, that's a little bit bitter. That's 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 more bitter than I'm used to, but it still tastes pretty good. Mmm. Not bad. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be drinking be drinking this the rest of the stream. It's about... This is a 16 ounce, so yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully everyone's doing good tonight. It is January 3rd, and if you, if you guys are on my Discord server, I, I talk about how, hey, it's a new year. And no, if you thought that you were saving your wallets from spending too much money, you all guessed wrong, because this is another full year of mechanical keyboard group buys. Colloquial Robot, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, we started all again. We started all again tonight on January 3rd, talking about all the group buys that we hope to join. Or, you know, if you, if you are one of the fortunate who can join every single one of them, then yeah, more power to you. More power to you. But for those of you joining for the very first time, this stream, this Sunday stream, talks about group buys that are starting and ending for the following week. By following week, I, I define that as anything starting tonight, January 3rd, all the way till Saturday, January 9th. Starting and ending. We don't cover anything before or after. So, be, so without further ado, let's talk about our very first ending group buy. We actually don't have too much this week, so this might be a shorter stream. But here we go, here we go. Oh, first, first item on the list is all the way on the pank.co store. This is GMK Thai Tea. There we go. If you guys remember my interest checks video, I, I actually talked about this set as something that greatly interested me. And it is ending. It is ending tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, January 4th, right here. 
And, you know, you, you guys can probably guess that it's inspired by Tai T. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Does he, does he post the photo that he was inspired by, or is that all on the Geek Hack thread? Oh yeah, it looks like it's all on the Geek Hack thread, but basically he posted this photo of Thai iced tea, and he based the colors off on that. So yeah, you have three kits available here. You got your base for 135, then you got your alphas for 70, and then space bars for 36 bucks. Check that out. So let's 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 go through that really quick. There we go. That's the base. That's the alphas. And that's the space bars. I think when I first talked about this on my interest check videos, I was not a fan of the orange alphas at all. I thought they looked kind of ugly. They looked a little too saturated to me. It made it difficult to see any of, of the actual legends. So yeah, I much prefer the lighter colored alphas. Let's see, any other renders here? Yep, there we go. That's on one of, one of Jay's boards. Here's another one. Like part of me is thinking, part of me is thinking that these renders are gonna be like at least on the orange part. I have a feeling these might be way off from what it will actually look like. There's just this feeling that I've got. There we go. All the way on Pank.co. Of course, there are the there are other vendors as well, such as Desk Hero, Prototypist, My Keyboard, Daily Clack, Mono K, and Z Frontier. Oh, here we go. Let's actually click on the Geek Hack thread. I think that one had better photos. Here we go. Let's go link that as well. There. Yep. Much better photos. Much easier to go through. And I believe... Oh, here we go. This is it. This is it. Yeah, that one looks actually looks pretty good. This one, not so much because of the of the orange colored alphas. This render looks a little bit off. And if you guys remember, the first time I showed this, he had some... He had some, some interesting renders, which hopefully we can still get to. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> here, these are not real boards. This will never be a reality. In fact, I hope it will never be a reality. But here you go, you got some felt boards here. <laughs> you got a grassy board. Check that out. <laughs> a foam board. Look at that. And of course this metal with a bunch of holes, Swiss cheese board. And this one, this one? I'd actually want to see this as a reality. This one looks pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, this is besides the point. Nothing to do with the actual key set group by. If you go to that link that I posted earlier, which, which I'll actually post again, these will not be available, nor will they be available at any time in the future, I think. <laughs> oh wow, if Thai tea sells 500, I will eat some denim. Nice, nice. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys are interested in this set and got a cool 135 bucks to spare, definitely click that link before the end of day tomorrow. <laughs> right, next item on our list. Next item on our list is one of my personal favorite key sets. Peter Poppins, hello to you too. Let's say this one is GMK Serica round two. Let's see, actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull out my Serica set just cause I can. Let's see, if if I can find it. We'll see what you... Yep, this is it. Here we go, this is it. This is my Serica set. So back then, back then when round one was around, you did not have the option. Well, not that I remember. You You could not get a base kit that was non-Japanese alphas. So here we go. This is what it looked like. Um, I can tolerate like the Japanese sub-legends. They're fine. I don't really mind. But I would prefer having this option. Latin core. So this time around when I buy this kit, this is what I'll be purchasing. 
that's what I'll be purchasing just so I can mix and match them, you know. And maybe this time around I'll do the geometries like so. Let's see, but yeah, you can pick up either the Latin core for 110 or the Hiragana core also for 110. Everything else is about 60 or under 60 bucks. Let's see. Oh, actually, I was wrong. Apparently, the international kit is 80 bucks. Novelties are 45. Space bars are 30. You even have the option for a Rama keycap, which I will also get 40 bucks right here. And you have two solvent yellow caps for 56 each. Check it out, check it out. So yeah, I'll probably be picking up Latin Core, Geometries, and Rama Keycap. There we go. This one expires on January 7th, so we still got a few more days to go here. Let's take a look at some of the renders. Actually, why show you render when I can show you the real deal? <laughs> oh no, my camera froze again. Hold on, hold on. Let's turn it off, off and on. There we go, there we go. It's alive again. There we go, see that? Yeah, I'd say my camera makes the colors look really, really close to it. Maybe the, maybe the alphas are a little wider than normal. But yeah, this is what GMK Serico looks like. Let's transition back to the render so you guys can see what it looks like on a larger board. There we go. Yeah, let's see this one. And if you had a yellow board. Look at that. That's, that's really pretty really pretty I think on a yellow board it might be a little too much <laughs> oh also um if, in case you guys didn't know the yellow in Serica the yellow in Serica is apparently the same yellow as the Lego yellow so there we go if you have a bunch of Lego kits around it would match with the two especially if you had a one of one of those Lego keyboards See, a line that looks best with the gray board, like the one that I have right now. I would, I would agree with that, actually. I would agree with that. But yeah, this is one of my favorite 60%s. This is a TX60. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's go look at a couple more. That Rama Artisan will de is definitely a, a must-buy for me. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. Any other information? Oh, yeah. Just the usual suspects in terms of proxies, you got Z Frontier, Desk Hero, Oblotsky, Dalaclack, and Ilum KB. Um, since this is also a GMK set, I would not expect it to arrive with me, at least until Q4 at the earliest. So yeah, you, you guys have a few more days left, but if you, if you like this, this set, definitely click on that link before January 7th. All right. Let me just put this board away. Dibstern says, I love the artisans, but I'm not a fan of the Serica color scheme. Well, I'm a fan of the color scheme. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, you know what? Those are the only two key sets that are ending this week. Well, that's pretty good. So out of, out of curiosity, out of the two, GMK Tai T, versus GMK Serica. What is the crowd most interested in this week? Once again, that's GMK Tai T expiring tomorrow, January 4th, and GMK Serica round two expiring on January 7th. Let's see, what are people saying? Don Bro says Serica, Serica, Serica for sure, Serica. Sov says neither. Serica, Serica, Effective Me says Tai T. Serica, Serica. Nefert says, You just sold me on GMK Serica. Awesome, that is good to hear. <laughs> I am so happy when people like the same sets that I like. <laughs> Let's see, Milk, Milk Cam joined Serica today. Congratulations. One, one Bean says, Yellow is Ew. Dibstern says, Serica is way better. 
Tai T, Tai T, okay. King Friday says, Serica, no contest, but y'all is a hard thing to compliment. I would agree with that, actually. Serica is so 80% by of all people here. Merlin destroying another man's wallet. <laughs> well, okay, think about it th this way. That's only two key sets expiring this week, you know? It's, o it's only two key sets. And it's just, it's quite literally just Tai T and GMK Serica. So let's move on to keyboards. In terms of keyboards, there's only two things expiring this week as well. The first keyboard is all the way back on the pink store. Here we go. This is, here we go. This is the pink 40 for 320 bucks. Or if you want a brass plate, I believe, a two millimeter brass mid layer, I'm sorry. It's an additional 40 bucks. But yeah, if you're a big 40% fan, Check it out. Let's see. You can you can do it in staggered and in ortholinear. Let's take a look at some of the specs here. It's milled aluminum top frame, four degree milled aluminum base. It's a hot swap PCB with QMK firmware support, RGB underglow. Uh, what else is here? No mention of any type of ESD protection. Or no mention of VIA, that's really interesting. I would imagine anyone who sells a keyboard today that advertises QMK firmware should also advertise VIA, but I'm not seeing anything here. You know what? Let's check really quick. Let me check really quick. Let me check. It's definitely in QMK, but is it in VIA? Can I use VIA.com? Supported keyboards. Oh, I guess it's not in VIA yet. Let's see. I wonder if it's in uh, VIA keyboards GitHub. Maybe it's in. Maybe it's in a in in a pull request mode. We'll see. We'll see. Nope, it's not even been submitted into into VIA yet. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe Via is not, maybe Via is not in the future. Who knows, who knows? But yeah, you guys have a bunch of colors to pick from, from Watson White, Yellow 1016, whatever that is, Pretty Pink, Lime Green, Powder Blue. You got several layouts here. So you got the Staggered Menorca or the Staggered Sebrite, couple Ortholinears as well. And yes, I mentioned earlier that two millimeter brass mid layer. Really wish he had more photos here. That it's interesting. Look at that. That's that's how you can see that nice RGB underglow. Cool, cool. I wonder if there's any photos of that brass mid layer. Let's see. Brass mid layer. That almost looks like brass, right? Or maybe just a very dull acrylic centerpiece. Who knows? King Fire says, is there a board that works in QMK but for some reason cannot be ported to VIA? Yes, there are quite a few actually. Um, one of the main requirements to get a board into VIA is that the microcontroller needs to have an EE prom. So while there are boards that are supported in QMK, um, some of these boards don't have an EE prom to store the VIA key maps on. So that's when you have issues. Well, there we go. If you guys are interested and have a cool 320 to 360 to spare and really like 40%, click on that link. All right, the next board is something I'm actually considering buying. Just because I've got the V1 version of it. This one is a... Oh, yeah, sorry. This, um, this Pank 40 expires tonight. So you don't really have much time. But this next one is expiring on the 8th. This one you can actually consider. But here we go, here we go. This is the Idobao ID80 Crystal Keyboard Kit. Gasket mounted. Um, if you guys remember, I did a build stream of this, well not this particular board, but of the V1. I'd say it's about five or six months at this point. 
and it sounded pretty bad because mainly because it was of the integrated plate and the hollowness that it had so I'm hoping this one will be better it's still an ID80 so it's still the same PCB it's still the same hot swap USB-C um, exploded layout for the arrow keys and the function row and that rightmost column so that's still like a really good layout but it's mainly the case that has changed you now have a added weight right there you have gasket mount and you've got a nice little USB-C receptacle right there look at that So yeah, um, you also have two options when it comes to this. You've got regular transparent acrylic for 259 bucks, and the next one is Smoky PC for 269. Um, I think I might attempt to go for the Smoky PC. We'll see. Rotary Wombat has. Oh hello, another Mech KB stream. Oh hello, another Rotary Wombat. <laughs> Hexa runs. Does anyone know a board that sounds similar to Vega Polaris? Um, I guess a lot of IO3 boards tend to sound similar. Never says spend 250 just to check whether the bad sounding V1 got improved in V2. That's dedication. Well, that's the thing. Um, V2 already sounds good. Sounds, well, maybe not sounds good, but sounds better than V1. So I'm assuming this board right here will sound even better. Let's see. Chihu says based on design and renders, GMMK Pro or this? Um, hmm, let's see. GMMK Pro is definitely cheaper and also gasket mount. So in terms of features, in terms of features, the GMMK Pro might be more bang for your buck. But in terms of, in terms of like, you know, having like a polycarb case, if that's something that you really want, this might be the way to go. Like, um, I believe the GMMK Pro also comes with an ARM microcontroller, so that's definitely better support in the future. Um, let's see. This one, if I remember correctly, was an Atmega 32U4. So yeah, I guess if you, if you really like this layout right here, if you like this layout without a knob and you really want something that's polycarb, this might be the board to buy for you. But, you know, I'm already reserved for the GMMK Pro. Let's see, Alan highlighted a message. The portico is also ending on the 8th. Thank you very much. Please um, remind me again during the audience group by section. Let's see. Don Bro says, there is no prototype or anything with GMMK Pro. Yeah, that's true. That's that's actually very true. Hexarune says, wow, the Voice 65 sounds really good. The scroll makes it look cheap. I can see that. But yeah, this one for $269, $30 sale. I think it's a pretty decent price for what it is. Is that a, that, that, that looks like, that looks like a brass plate right there. Looks like a brass plate. I don't think the GMMK Pro comes with the brass plate, does it? Let's see. What's all this? End time January 8th. Shipping shipping time is April 10th. Limit 400 units. Oh, interesting. With a board that they've sold so often, well, at least it's the same PCB that they're putting a limit on it. Seems kind of kind of weird. Deathcore Buddha says, Hi Merlin, I've been watching your YT vids a lot. Good to catch you live for the first time. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining in on my first group by stream of the year. Let's see. What else is here? QMK programmable with VIA. Okay. Rubber bump ons. Yeah. I think I would like to see someone do a review, a side by side review of both this and the GMMK. So this would be interesting, though my gut feeling, or at least my my hope, is that the GMMK will outperform this. 
Yeah, here we go. If you guys are interested, click that link. Click that link before January 8th. And here we go. See, Alan says, I'm pretty sure GMMK Pro will have a different plate on round two because they want it to be very customizable. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that happening. I could see that. Mm -mm -mm. No, here, so that Alan doesn't have to ping me later, we'll just do the one that he talked about right now. Here we go. This is the Portico keyboard, also expiring on the 8th. Let's pull this up, pull this up. There we go. This is the Portico from TKC. This is a 65% polycarb gasket mount board for 119 bucks. So you have your choices of clear, smoke, terminal green, mint and purple right, let's take a quick look at through all the specs here you got hot swap pcb you've got typing angle of seven degrees um, mounting style gasket mounted for luxurious and cushion typing feel that's the way to sell it yeah you want a luxurious and cushion typing feel gasket mount this is the way <laughs> And check that plate material is also FR4. Plate thickness is 1.5 millimeters. Um, PCB supports hot swap and in switch RGB on underglow. Interesting. Note, these are not individually addressable. So I wonder if they're, I wonder if it's the same strip. It's the same strip going through all the switches and going through underglow. Maybe that's how they're doing it. We'll see, we'll see. Let's look at a few more of these pictures right here. Yeah, that's a center mounted USB-C as well. Not bad for 119 bucks, I'd say. Like, I think, I think its competitors are what? The Novel Key NK65 Entry Edition and the KBD67 Lite. In terms of specs, specs wise, like on paper, the Portico has them beat. But we'll see once every once like everything gets here, right? We'll see. We'll, we'll see which one is truly the better keyboard. What about the Ramakara? The Ramakara is an HHKB type board. I was only considering 65%, which was the NK65, the Portico, and the KBD67 Lite. You know, terminal green actually looks pretty decent. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, the mint. The mint looks good too. If I were to buy this though, I'd probably go for either the smoke or the clear. Those are the two I would go for. Mint. Mint. Hmm, not bad. Let's see. I've only got... Okay, so the only FR4 plated boards that I have are all like sandwich kits. So I've never tried one in an actual case like this. So I would be curious to try this out. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. I think I've gone through their entire roll here, have I? Yes, yes I have. Yes I have. Anyway, this is another board that is expiring on the 8th. So if you're interested, check it out. Please click that link. So we have three boards expiring this week. Let's start from the first one. First one is the Pank 40, going for 320 bucks to 360 if you choose a brass middle layer. The next one is the Idobao ID, ID80, gasket mounted polycarb or acrylic kit. And the last one is the Portico polycarb 65% kit. Out of these three keyboards, what are you guys most interested in? Mm 
What is the audience most interested in? Portico, Portico, ID80, since Marxy already has 365s, nice. Vincent says, not any, broke, none, full size or bust, says Pavard. Oof, I don't know if there are any, or there any, or well, not too many full size customs in our community at this point. Bacon and Tuna says ID80, Jason MG says Portico is tempting, but already ordered the KBD67 Lite. Portico, Portico. ID80, what is the third option? Well, it was Portico, ID80, or Pink 40. Oh yeah, it's looking like no one's really interested in the Pink 40, I guess. I guess 40% isn't a very popular format, isn't a very popular layout, so this is, this is expected, this is expected. Nasty Nader says, I'll get the Portico if it supports split backspace. Because it is hot swap, it does not. Um, one bean says Merlin if I'm if I'm new to the keyboard hobby is the portico a good choice to start on Paper it looks really good, but TKC has been known to deliver really really late and with some issues with quality control So that's something you need to need to consider not just it's like when you're new to the community like you like like like, like you need to consider the quality of the product and the quality of the vendor, you know just both have to be good to be worth it. Lube Machines is Pank 40. Oh, there we go. Someone who's going for the Pank 40. Death Corbuda says 40s are for masochists. Okay, okay. I do have to agree on that at some level. Here, this is this was yesterday's build stream. Oh yeah, I built a BDE from MechWild. It's basically a ortholinear keyboard. I unfortunately did not have the correct keycap, so I kind of had to substitute numro for the numpad here and a backspace key like that. But I tried to type on it yesterday and I averaged about 24 words per minute. So yeah, 40% and ortho, not so good. Not so good. <laughs> Maybe I'll type faster the more I practice on it. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, let's say lots of stuff happening. 24 words per minute. Yeah, I know, right? I am normally up in the hundreds. I'm like, I think the fastest I've ever typed on stream was like 160 something. So typing at like 24 was like, wow, super slow for me. All right, let's see what, what else is happening this week. What else is ending this week, I mean. Um, two key sets, three keyboards, and the last one is not a key set and not a keyboard. It's this guy right here, all the way from Alpha Keys. This is the Dusk Panda switches for 550. You've, you've got your option of a blue linear or an orange tactile. So these are basically, let's see. Similar to T1s, essentially. Let's see, the orange dust panda has a 67G bottom out, and the blue one has a 62G bottom out. Hmm, I would have preferred if they kept the spring the same, to be honest. Let me check it out here. Special Panda V2 stem, five pins. Both of these are manufactured by B-Sun. <laughs> yeah, here we go. If you want to buy it and you're from North America, Alpha Keys is your choice. Here, let's take a look at these these photos right here. Interesting. I'm not really seeing a logo on them anymore. Usually, B Sun switches have B Sun on them, or maybe this is just just like the the angle of the photo. But there's nothing there. Interesting. No logo on the switch. Okay. Interesting. Ah, I do have to say, I hate the fact that it's a blue stem. Because every time I see a blue stem, I think of Clicky. 
So now that they're using a blue stem for a linear, it's just it's it's just confusing for me, you know? Like 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 I get it. They are using a lighter blue stem, but vintage Cherry MX blues were also a light blue stem. So seeing this, I'm like, wait, is this a clicky switch? No, it's just a linear switch. <laughs> Yeah, not not really the color I would have chosen, but I guess there are only a limited amount of colors for, for like people to choose from when making switches, so you know, it is what it is. Let's see, these are 550 each, and this group by I mean not not each, for a pack of ten, and this group by ends on January 5th. There we go. Please kindly click that link before then if you are interested in these B-Sun switches. Um, I will have to say that in my experience, in my limited experience with B-Sun switches, JWK is still greatly smoother than whatever Panda switch or whatever B-Sun switch I've ever tried when it comes to their linears. So if you want tactile, this might be a better choice than going for linear. Anyway, yeah, please click that link before January 5th. All right, quick summary. All the group buys ending this week that I know of. GMK Tai T, followed by GMK Serica round two, followed by the Pank 40, the Idobao ID80, the Portico keyboard, and last but not the least, the Dusk Panda switches. Here we go. So yeah, I've been doing this for the last three streams already, but I've been calculating how much it costs to join all group buys ending this week. So we do have a shorter week this time around, I'm shorter in terms of a shorter list of products, but what, what I like to do is get every option and try to get the most premium options when it comes to keyboards. When it comes to switches, I buy a pack of 100, right? So if you wanna join all these group buys today that I just talked about, if you wanna join them all, your total expenditures, what you're gonna to need to join all of this is $1,682. This, of course, does not include any shipping, taxes, or custom fees. But you need $1,682. That's about, I think that's about $1,000 less than last week, but still, still. Nefret says you added the portico. Yes, I did. But come on, man. If you, okay, even if I didn't, let's, let's take out like 100 from that. If you're already spending like 1,500 on keyboards alone, plus taxes and shipping, What's another 119 bucks, right? <laughs> What's another 119 bucks? <laughs> Dr. says, I spend fraction of it. <laughs> Vincent says, pretty cheap this week. Yes, pretty cheap, all things considered. I think the... I think the first time I started calculating this was still the cheapest. I think it was like, what, six, seven hundred bucks? But yeah, this one's 1,682. Plus shipping, taxes, and custom fees, and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's doable. Everyone received at least $2,000 for their Christmas money, right? Right? <laughs> I wish. I totally wish. <laughs> Vincent says 119 could be the fine line between marriage and divorce. Yes. <laughs> it's the... What's that saying? It's the, it's the feather that broke the camel's back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 119 bucks. But honey, honey, I just spent 1,500 bucks. What's, what's 119? What's 119? 119 is what we spend on groceries, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, okay. Let's see, Rotary Wombat Sass. As a Canadian, that price actually is doable monthly from what government pays us. Oh, really? Doable monthly. Okay, so keep in mind, 1,682. This is 
the money specifically for keyboards. This isn't your disposable income. This is just the amount of money out of your disposable income for keyboards. <laughs> oh boy. All right, all right, all right. So we, d we just talked about ending group buys. Let's talk about group buys that are starting. So this one's gonna be super short. This one's gonna be super, super short just cause I really couldn't find anything this week. I don't know. Maybe everyone's still on vacation, spending time with their families. So yeah, here we go. The only group buy that I could really find that was starting this week was this guy. GMK muted. Like, okay, I did find other group buys. I found, um, what, what, what was it? It was like Cam 80s After Dark and Marshmallow, but I talked about that last week because I thought it was starting on, on the first. So yeah, but yeah, um, both Cam After Dark and, and Marshmallow are starting on the 8th. So here we go. Let's, let's talk about the one that I didn't cover. Oh, Kojiro. I also talked about Kojiro last week. And Awaken. Yeah, yeah, I talked about all that last week. So yeah, here we go, here we go. GMK muted. Yeah, bacon and tuna. We did, we did. SBR sixteen oh one says GMK polybias, polybias. That one I have not heard of. Let me just briefly examine that. Polybias. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I talked about this, but yeah, okay. Let's um, let's go talk about this afterwards. But yeah, let's talk about GMK muted first. Not sure if I posted the link yet, but here we go. This is a set being run by Krellbit and it's the second time around. Um, I, I remember really wanting to get muted round one, but I can't remember as to exactly why I backed out of it. Hmm. Oh well. Well, let's see. There we go. If you guys are looking for a fairly decent GMK set, a GMK set that in my opinion will fit quite a lot of keyboards, not just in terms of layout, but in terms of color. This is gonna be it, GMK Muted. This is like your basic vanilla colorway. Works pretty good, a bunch of stuff. Don Bros, we covered Cat Crusader last week as well. Let's see, look at that, extensions. But what I really like about this set are the accents. Like the accents make it look really good. This one, like the pinkish, salmonish, and green accents, I feel like make it look really vintage. Whereas this one, the, the, the cyan and purple accents make it look very modern. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was um, intended I don't know if that was what they intended to do, but that's that's how it comes off to me. So if I happen to dig up some money and purchase this set, I will most likely pick the cyan and purple accents. Here, let's go look at the renders right here. Look at that, see? That one looks really pretty to me. Really, really pretty. Look at that. Ooh, on a gray board. Okay, I've never seen this on a gray board. That that actually looks good. Huh. That's got that vintage slash modern vibe. That's really nice. There you go. Yeah, this one, I don't like the salmon and the and the green accent. It just doesn't just doesn't work for me. Pretty pretty set. Let's see, did he post a price anywhere? I'm expecting this to be about 120 bucks. 120, 130. Oh, look at that, he changed it. Never mind. this this isn't starting this week after all. Still tentative, but January 8th, crossed out. 15, looks like this is starting January 15th. Um, Maybe we'll talk about it briefly next week just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more coverage. Yeah. Let's see, let's go take a look at his kits again. What do his kits look like? 
Let's look at the base kit. Base kit, uh, let's see, it's got the Sangin stuff. What seems to be 65%. Most stuff seems to be there. Mm. Oh yeah, these are also Icon Legends. Not sure how people feel about that. Well, I can just ask you guys. What do you guys think about Icons versus Text Legends on the modifiers? Which one do you guys prefer? Beals King says, hi guys. Nefert says, text mods all the way. SBR says, prefer icons. Icons. Icons, prefer text. Text only look is better. Icons, text. Icons. Looks like it's a pretty even split so far from, at least from you guys. From you guys who are responding to my query. Kawar says, depends on the set. Yes, that's actually something I discovered about myself. Like, okay. I used to think icons were superior in every way. But then I started doing this stream and I started like thinking about stuff. So yeah, okay. This is just me going off on a tangent. You'll probably hear more about this on my next interest check video, but here, let's go back. Let's go back. This is, this is just how how I look at things. Let's go back to GMK Serica. Right here, right here. Okay. Let's let's go open this up. Here we go. Right here, right here. Okay. Alright. This is the way I look at things of what determines if I like icons versus text. On a key set like this, where where there are sub legends, right? Doesn't matter if they're Japanese or Korean or, or like or or like whatever. If if the alphas have sub legends, I feel that text modifiers make it look a little too busy. In a set like this, I would have preferred icon icon mods. However, if we went with the Latin core like this, I'd prefer text. You know, if there are sub legends, I prefer icons. If there are no sub legends, I prefer text. That's just me. And I just recently discovered that. <laughs> I am still growing in this hobby. Mr. Petro says text only greater than all. Uh, guys, what's the band command? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Colloquial robots. House, I can see that. Mr. Petro says, sorry, Sob, you are wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go back to GMK muted there. There we go. This is what we're talking about after all. So for something like this, actually. For something like this. DJ says, you're not wrong, Merlin. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Yeah. So, oh yeah. For something like this, I would have preferred text, text mods. Benson says, you're all wrong. Blanks are the only way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, yeah, um, I did not see him cross out the eighth. I was under, under the impression that this was starting on the eighth, which is this Friday, I think. But yeah, this is definitely a set I am keeping an eye out for. And personally, I'm glad that it's 15th because if I'm purchasing Serica, I'm gonna need a few weeks to recover from that purchase. So him pushing it out to the 15th is, is absolutely good for me. And yeah, if you guys wanna join that conversation and read more information, click that Geek Hack page. And yeah, once again, that is starting on the 15th rather than the eighth. And here we go, here we go. That's really the only one I could find that's starting. Like maybe I just didn't have as much time to do my research, but from what I've seen, this is the only group buy that is starting. So here we go. Here we go. This is the time for you guys to help me out. Did I miss something? 
did I miss something? Um, if you think I missed something, kindly whisper me here on Twitch. You can do that by doing slash W followed by my name, Mech Merlin, followed by your text. And please send me context so I'm not having to read through pages of a group by. Send me start end dates and anything special I need to pay attention to. So yeah, please send that to me. And I will be reading through messages and checking the link for us to make sure that they're cool and all that. Yeah, you know, this is from SBR1601. This is GMK Polybius. Maybe it's Pol Polybius, Polybius, Poly... Poly something. Don't know how to pronounce it. But here we go. Check it out. This is a Nathan Alpha Men set. All the way from Portland, Oregon. Ooh. Another Pacific Northwester. Awesome. For those of you who don't know, I'm a PNWer as well. I live here in Seattle, Washington, and I quite, quite frequently travel down to Portland, Oregon. Yeah, here we go. Let's let's go look at this set. This is something I have that I actually don't know about. Like usually when people send me stuff, I'm like, oh, okay. I um, oh, I like I remember seeing that, but I forgot about it. But this this time around, I've never actually heard of this set. This this is this is interesting. Look at those mods, guys. We were just talking about text and icon mods. These are crazy. These are crazy. What the heck? <laughs> you basically get novelties in your base kit. So this might be a very expensive kit. Yeah. Featuring agnostic UV print. Okay, UV printed mod. So maybe, maybe not that expensive, but still, still, still kind of weird. The redaction kit. Okay. Is there an option for regular mods? Hmm. Look at those dust mats right there. Kind of too busy for my liking. Let's see. Kohalify says, how is UV versus pad printing? So my understanding is that they're both forms of pad printing. However, the UV version of pad printing is, is better. Like, quote unquote, better. Meaning it, it might last you longer? <laughs> Who knows? Go vendors and timeline. Looks like they're collaborating with space cables, prototypes, candy keys, island KV, switch keys, and ash keys. Oh yeah. Forgot to post this in chat, but there we go. You guys can follow along there. Let's look at the renders. I don't know about you guys, but the mods, the mods are not vibing with me. These, these look. Yeah, I, I don't like them. Let's see, homie zone just pinged me in chat. There was no info except the GB starting time and that one pick. Okay. <laughs> we'll get we'll go back to it, I guess. But here, let's keep looking at this. Uh the more I look at it, the more I don't like the mods. It's so weird. Like, okay, hopefully they have lighter colored boards. These are all like dark colors. Like, I would like to see a white board here. Maybe like a red board or a yellow board or a light blue board. Peter Poppin says, it looks too kiddish for me. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. All right. Um... Uh... This is like a novelty key set to me. <laughs> you can, you guys can interpret that how, how, however you please. And yeah, once again, check this out. Apparently, according to SBR1601, this starts tomorrow, January 4th. All right, thank you, SBR1601. This one is on Z Frontier. Yeah, let's do this. Z Frontier, I guess it's called tab hacking. Actually, hold on. Let me let me read through Homie Zone's message here. He says it's an HHKB Pro 2 case, but it can also support normal MX switches as well. Burger mount with weird spring screws. 
question mark. Check mounting on this link. Okay, we'll click on that link in a bit, but interesting. Ah, okay. It's a case for your HHKV Pro 2. Ooh, that, that looks pretty sharp to me, actually. That looks really good. Bang. Not that I own an HHKB Pro 2 or anything like that. I, in fact, I stay away from that layout. Not that I haven't tried, okay? Like, I've, I've typed on HHKB Pros for a long time. Just even got used to the layout, but I still don't like the layout, you know? Colors look pretty good. Not bad. Oh yeah, I should be posting this in chat so you guys can follow along, right? DJ says, makes me want an HHKB. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at that back. The tab. Not sure I like that logo or the name of the board, but if they remove that, I think this would look, uh, look like a very, very beautiful board. Let's see, let's post that link. Homie Zone was talking about the mounting. Let's see if we can get a better image of that mounting right there. Top gasket. Ooh. Fancy. Whoa. A robot's putting it together. Dang. <laughs> Hacking. Okay, I'm still not seeing anything about... Oh, here we go, here we go. That's how it's mounted. You know, that image looks very familiar. I might have seen it in other places. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Here, let me post that in chat as well so you, so you guys can check that out. What is this? Oh, it's the it's the weight, the spring weight. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Thank you very much, Homie Zoned. If you guys are interested, click those links that I provided. Let's see who's next. Who is next on the list? All the way on Novel Keys. I don't know, is, is, is Novel Keys business plan now just like teaming up with people to have a, a GMK set specifically for keyboards that they're selling? Maybe that's the way to go. That's kind of like, it's kind of like what Drop was doing. So I hope Novel Keys is, reaches at least the same level of success that Drop did and hopefully even more. Look at that, you can pick between Awaken Green, ooh, and Awaken Pink. There we go. Mm. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. 230 bucks, that's about the same as as previous ones that he's done, if I remember. Here we go, let's see. Nefert says started a few days ago and runs until the 31st. Let's go read up on that. Here we go, this GB will run until January 31st. Shipping time is estimated Q4 2021. So I bet the keyboards will be done long before the GMK set is ready, but assembly and putting it all together will take possibly longer. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Nefert, for sending that my way. NK65. Um, I have my own NK65 entry edition. Um, I still greatly prefer the aluminum case over the polycarb case to be honest like they're like like they both feel good but i still prefer the metal one let's see next uh next one up is from 
Who's next here? XKH41X. Ah, okay. Also talking about the NK65 Awaken Edition. All right. Thank you, XKH. But I think Nefert beat you to the punch there. Let's see who's next. Pararch. So, so what's this? Velocifier switches. Okay, this is interesting. Um, Pararch, I need a, a link so that I can show something on stream rather than just your your PM to me. So if you could send me a link, I could do that. Don Bro says, I don't like these special edition prices. Mm, they're not too bad. 230 bucks for a keyboard and a GMK set. Like, okay. I think you need to think about it as not, not as someone who has a lot of like key sets already or someone who's been in the community for a long time, but maybe it's for someone who's new, someone who is overwhelmed of the concept of having to buy all these custom parts, put it together yourself and not having enough money to buy a really good key set. Like, oh, everyone says GMK is best, but I can't afford to buy it. Like. This is a product for someone like that, you know? At least, that's what I think. Like, if I was entering the community for the very first time, I'd probably buy one of these. As long as it had, like, a key set that I really liked, I'd buy it, you know? See, the containment unit says, Unfortunately, by the time that keyboard and GMK set comes for that new hobbyist, they won't be new anymore. That's true, because what? It's Q4 delivery? Fire Bazooka says, NK65 GMK caps, all for a steel. Shame about the stabilizers. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I think properly lubed and properly clipped Plate mount stabs will definitely be not as good as the equivalent screw or PCB mount, but when you do properly lube and clip them, they still sound good. You're just, I, I think people in the community just constantly compare them to the epitome of stabs, right? See, Peter Poppin says, I think the NK65 sets are for those that are starting off in the hobby. Yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely what they're there for. Just because, you know, um, we're just trying to grow this hobby as much as we can. And if we make it hard for people to join the hobby, pe people just won't. Let's see, Perart, still waiting for you to send me a link if you're there. If not, I'm not receiving any more messages from people, so we'll probably close the stream the next five minutes. Don Bro says, I think Cat needs to start producing more because they were just waiting for some time. Yeah, Cat sets aren't, I feel like are getting pretty slow, to be honest. Cat is my favorite high profile profile, so I would love to see more. Milkcam says, I mean, even if it delivers in Q4, it's not like any other group buy a noob gets is going to be delivering before. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, okay. If you were a noob and you joined a group buy today, let's say you joined the Portico. Yeah, you would be waiting until Q4. Let's say you joined the... What, what keyboards did I talk about? Let me pull up my notes. See, there were three keyboards that were ending. That was the Pank 40, the Idobow and the portico. So out of these three, I think the Idobao ID80 is actually gonna come first. I think it said it was shipping in April. So yeah, you could get an Idobao ID80. And in terms of any key sets that you join, yeah, you wouldn't be able to find a key set for it unless you bought aftermarket or in stock sale, I guess. What's the next in-stock sale coming up? Let's 
Let's see, Pravarch says, I just PM, not sure if you got it. Um, Pravarch, I'm, I'm waiting for you to send me a link, but I'm not seeing. Yeah, your last message start is, started last week, but I don't think you covered these. Yeah, so if I could get a link for that, that would be great. Dude, Benson says, maybe you, you get lucky and scored one of the first batches of Vega, or maybe you were on the first batch of GMMK Pro. There we go. All right, looks like I'm just about finished with my beer here. Or my sister-in-law's beer, who is back to Arizona, I guess. <laughs> Um, Parr says, I did, but if it's not working, link here. Um, try and send it to me again. It's like, maybe Twitch is being weird, but I'm not seeing another message from you. Like, send it again. Send it here on Twitch. Slash W space Mac Merlin space your message, or if you want to... Want to use the GUI? I think you can right click and like whisper me. Kara was also supposed to deliver in Q1. Um, we are currently in Q1, so hopefully Kara delivers on time. But I'm talking about if you were a, a newcomer and you joined this week, what are you able to join this week? Let's see. Let's go look at what you're able to join this week here. In terms of keyboards, what are you able to join this week? Let's see, Pank, Idabao, Boop65, yeah, Boop65, The Grid650, Conundrum, Training Wheels, Mode80, wow, Mo Mode80 is still going. And in terms of keycaps, what can you join? You can still join, other than what I talked about today, Alpine, Recall, Stealth, Avangardia, Gregory. Ha, huh, yeah, Gregory. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what new new person would look at Gregory and be like, I gotta have that. That is the first key set I'm buying in this hobby. <laughs> There's also MT3 ABS Cyber, GMK Hanami Dongo, SA Silent Assassin, GMK Awaken, Kojiro, Sansue. Um, Crusader and Dasher. So yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess you could, you could get lucky and get stuff early. Codis, Codis says, Gregory gets no respect. Dude, it is a meme set. It is a meme set. Like, okay, you know, um, if I had a spare, like, how, how much is Gregory? 120 bucks? 130 bucks? If I had a spare 130 bucks and I had absolutely nothing else to buy and I wanted to buy a key set, sure, but you know, <laughs> like right now, I, I am, I am, I'm hoping to buy Serica and hoping that there'll be enough weeks before GMK muted that I'll have enough money for GMK muted. <laughs> Gregory deserves love. Okay, well guys, I'm not really seeing any other messages and I think, I think I'm not getting that link that I was asking for. So, um, yeah, that's it guys. Let's go through a quick, a quick recap of things before we end. GMK Tai T. Okay, th these are all the ending ones. GMK Tai T. GMK Serica. Uh, Pank 40. Idobao ID80. Portico Keyboard. Stuff that is starting. GMK Muted. Um, tab Hacking Keyboard. NK65 Awaken Edition. And GMK. Polybius, GMK Pol Polybius. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Alright guys, thanks for joining in on our very first Group by News of the Year. 
Let's see. Just to remind you all, if you want to join everything that's ending this week, you need $1,682. So yeah, if you happen to have that much money, please donate it all to me so I can buy all these things and review them for you. <laughs> I wish, right, I wish. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good rest of your night. And I will catch you when I catch you. I believe Tuesday. Tuesday we'll do another QMK stream. Alright guys, have a good rest of your night and a good start to your week. Have a good night guys. <laughs>